So, ask yourself this question. You could have a time machine, and you could go back two years and have a conversation with yourself. What advice would you give to that person? I had this interesting project, which was uh, for the travel industry. So one of my seniors, uh, he used to es make a lot of estimates, and you know, and say I used to have I have a buffer. Like after making estimates, and he used to hide buffer here, buffer that buffer, you know, you keep a lot of buffer. And then I used to think like maybe that buffer might work or not work. But uh, almost always, I've never found, but it. Is hundred percent. It always happens that his buffer is always utilized, and he goes about like two times or three times his buffer. So, what? So discussing today about no estimates, it makes sense. I think it would have been better than doing no estimate process. Like rather than saying no estimate, it's saying do a small step, a measure exactly time which it took, raise the bill, you go for the next work. Rather than making an upfront big estimate and keeping a buffer, because it would have saved the cost for the customer and also you know a lot of misery in the process. That's all. That's all what I, I think today. It is hard to get up here, so it's good to have applause. Anyone else? I saw in your eyes that you had something to say. No. The question is, if you could go back in time two years ago and talk to yourself, what advice would you give yourself? Okay. I'm going to start singing until somebody comes up on stage and gives a lightning talk. That's not good for anyone, trust me. So we just went through this no estimation, right? So mostly we thought that okay, it's a gift. So I think one advice in the last few years, you know, going through, I can say that delay the your decision as much as possible till the last, uh, probably until the last responsible moment, till you have enough information to take that decision. Come up on stage. Right here. You're, you are now the star of the room. I would have gone back uh, two years back. So I, I would have imagined to know a bit more updated with the technologies at that time because when, when I'm catching up with it now, I feel that I'm a bit, bit, bit delayed. So I think that if I would have done that, I would have just started some of them two years back. So that's, that's the thing. And, and with this conference, it's helping me to get back to the <laughs> You have nothing to say. Everyone, everyone has something interesting to say. Interesting story. Stories are great. I love stories. Not a story. It's a. I'm from an ops background. Okay. So uh, if you think two years back, so I will be choosing to have like in, implementing the infrastructure as a code in a better way. So that is my thought. So using the new technologies like a Terraform and. A, like infrastructure chef and implementing the cloud technologies, that could be the cool one. Now we are just starting up. So that could be a better option we should have started earlier. In the market. The market's catching you. Okay. Ah, excellent. One more. Oh, yes. One more. Um, um, I started three years back into this, and uh, I'll tell one thing. Um, when we started, um, we used to implement everything here and there. Uh, we did not um, think about what we are doing and what we are implementing and why we are using this. But if we would have researched a bit on a few things and then uh, taken a step ahead, I think we would have been a bit more ahead where we are right now. That is one thing. 
Thank you. Anyone else? You have nothing to say. We've got one more. So today, the deployment or delivery pipeline of your development pipeline cycle. So today we use uh, Jenkins. Uh, previously, two years back, we used the Jenkins as only the job schedulers or job run things. So now we use the Jenkins as a pipeline, Jenkins 2.0. We versionize that Jenkins uh, pipe jobs and uh, run into the different stages, dev uh, testing and the deployment stage. So we see how the cloud code flows through the different environments. So we can easily catch up the bugs. Okay, we are out of time. Would anyone have want to take the last minute before we finish up? Okay. Awesome. Okay, you guys enjoy the last couple talks? Thanks for those who were brave and come and stood on stage. It is scary. So, but you were, you liked it so much you came up twice. All right, thanks guys.